Switching from UEFI to legacy mode on an MSI motherboard can feel intimidating, but trust me, it's not as complicated as it seems. I'll walk you through this step by step so you don't skip anything critical. First, why would anyone even want to do this? Well, compatibility. Some older operating systems or bootable tools just don't like UEFI. The legacy mode makes those stubborn devices and software play nice. Before doing anything, back up your data. Seriously, do it. Messing with BIOS settings can sometimes lead to unexpected issues, and losing personal files over a simple error is everyone's nightmare scenario. Pro tip, write down your current BIOS settings or take photos with your phone. If something goes sideways, you'll thank yourself for having a cheat sheet to restore defaults quickly. All right, let's get into it. The first step is restarting your computer and repeatedly hitting the DL or F2 key during boot up. Timing matters, miss it, and you'll boot into Windows instead of the BIOS. Once in the BIOS, you'll see MSI's slick interface, which can be a little overwhelming if you're new to it. Look for a tab or option labeled Boot or Boot Mode Select. Different MSI models may vary slightly here. Change your boot mode from UEFI to Legacy, sometimes called CSM. Use your arrow keys and enter to select the correct option. The exact wording might differ, but look carefully, it'll be there. Pro tip, take a moment to double check. If you accidentally switch something unrelated, like disabling your boot drive, you might lock yourself out of the system entirely. After making the change, press F10 to exit and save your alterations. Your system will reboot automatically. If it doesn't, you likely did not confirm the save option. Go back and retry. As it restarts, watch for errors on the screen. If something went wrong, the system will usually display a message or refuse to boot. Stay calm. It's reversible if you wrote down your original settings. So why are some people afraid of this? Bio settings seem so final, but they're not. You can always reset everything to factory defaults by clearing the CMOS. Google your motherboard model if needed. If everything works smoothly, congrats. You've successfully switched to legacy mode. You're now free to install that picky operating system or use that outdated software you couldn't touch before. Lastly, remember to switch back to UEFI when this project is over. Legacy boot isn't as secure or modern as UEFI, so don't leave it enabled longer than necessary. Modern problems need modern solutions, right?